Good afternoon. Very soon our seniors will be entering the gymnasium for the 2013 commencement exercises. But before we begin, I'd ask you to please take this time to check your cell phones and make sure they're either turned off or on vibrate. One last reminder that I thought we'd get a little break with the weather. It does get warm in here. Uh, if you want to move into the auditorium before we start very quickly here, it is air conditioned and the seats are comfortable. A tradition we started about four or five years ago, Boardman teachers of all grade levels will lead the graduates into the ceremony just as they've led them through 13 years of education. And a reminder, this ceremony is a formal ceremony. We ask all spectators to respect the decorum that's associated with this type of event.
ask all members of our audience to please stand and face the flag as I call forward senior Alex McClellan to lead us in the singing of the national anthem. I'd like to introduce our first speaker. He has a Bachelor of Science degree in elementary education from Slippy Rock University, a Master's of Science in Educational Supervision, and a Master of Library Science from Kent State University, and a Master of Arts in Educational Administration from Youngstown State University. Since 1972, he has held various positions in the board of local schools, from media specialist to principal at Market Street Elementary. In August of 2004, he was appointed superintendent of the Borman Local Schools. He resides in Borman with his wife, Charlene. All three of his children are Borman graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, the leader of the Borman Local Schools, Mr. Frank Lazari. On behalf of our Board of Education, Administration, Teaching and Support staff, I would like to wish congratulations to the class of 2013. After four years of hard work, this is your day. We celebrate with you. We celebrate you for your diligence, for your dedication, for your curiosity. It is my privilege to congratulate you and thank all the people who helped you along this journey, the parents, relatives, educators and friends who have guided you along each year. We have all had a stake in getting you to this day and we share the pride of your accomplishments. We also share your excitement. Graduation marks one of the most significant accomplishments of your young lives. It is the culmination of your hard work over your entire school career. And it is an important transition from one phase of life to another. Today, you can assume greater responsibility for yourself and begin to claim your independence. Years from now, looking back, you will likely not remember many details of this day. You will forget some of the many memories that you have made over the last four, rather last 13 years of school but I urge you to commit a feeling of pride for these memories. You have just completed one of your first milestones. It is a prerequisite for many more opportunities. It will open doors, be a foundation of confidence and self-assurance to you, and I'm sure, as your parents would appreciate, it will help you become self-supporting. Your journey ahead is likely to overshadow the one just ended. 
Your adventures will create many new significant memories and accomplishments. I know that you will continue moving forward. With this impressive accomplishment under your belt, you will not let your high school graduation be your high watermark. The exciting part starts now. Not the easy part, but the really thrilling part of life. Your commitments are fewer than they will ever be, and the possibilities are endless. Take one path with enthusiasm, and then try another. Some of you already see a way ahead. You can move forward confidently along a clearly or even roughly defined path. As you reach your goals, you will enjoy the satisfaction of your accomplishments and know that you were always, you were where you always knew you wanted to be. This is a gift. And for some of you, your path is unknown. The adventure, though, is still wide open. It may not seem so today, but as you age, you will appreciate the truth about the cliches about how life is a journey and not a destination. We often really don't know what we want until we find it. So start looking and don't stop. From this day forward, all of you are starting out on a new path that will teach you more about yourself and about life. Muhammad Ali once said, the man who views the world at 50 the same way as he did at 20 has wasted 30 years of his life. Go out, see the world from this viewpoint. See it anew from each step. Now this is the point where I would normally end my speech with a final congratulation and good luck to our graduates. However, not to take anything away from our students today, I would be remiss if I did not call attention to another person moving on today. To quote Mr. Saxton, commencement is not an end, but rather a new beginning full of unimaginable possibilities. I would like to say farewell to Mr. Saxton as high school principal and thank him for his 11 years of service to the students of Boardman High School. Boardman High School's loss will be a gain for the entire school system as he assumes his new responsibilities in the fall as district business manager. Please join me in a round of applause for Mr. Saxton in thanksgiving of his service. Class of 2013, Principal Saxton, congratulations and may God continue to bless you. Your next adventure has just begun. Thank you. Thank you for those kind words, Mr. Luceri. Our second speaker is Student Council President Daniel Belenke. When I think of Daniel, I think of a person who is creative, humorous, and outgoing. And I know he's going to be a very successful young man. In the fall, Daniel will be attending Youngstown State University, where he'll be majoring in business management. Daniel Belenke. Thank you, Mr. Saxton. Uh, I actually special requested Ryan Key to do my introduction, but the administration is very adamant on keeping the ceremony down to an hour today, so. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, parents, faculty, and most importantly, our graduates. Welcome to the 2013 Boardman High School commencement. Today, I've begin, been given the honor of speaking to all of you, which means someone around here made a very poor decision. Before I begin to tell you how wonderful my classmates are, I'd like to remind everyone that if you want to take a picture of me while I'm up here and post it on, I don't know, let's say Instagram, uh, you will need my written consent because that is illegal and you will go to jail. <laughs> and we will have your car towed. I really can't believe how fortunate I am to be placed amongst such an outstanding group of people. I truly think this is one of the best brightest, most ambitious, and talented classes to ever pass through Boardman. 
Looking at all of you here today, I envision the next great artists, musicians, athletes, actors, writers, CEOs, Olympic weightlifters, and hundreds more impressive professions. I'm so excited to see what this class will accomplish in the years to come. I know that we are destined to do great things. It's almost surreal speaking here today. I can't even comprehend being done with high school, and the fact that it's all over still hasn't really hit me yet. Don't get me wrong, I know it's been four years. In fact, at times it felt like an eternity, but I just feel like this past year has really flown by abruptly. Seems like just a couple weeks ago, I was with all of you in the student section screaming, Babe, smash! Babe, smash! But football season is long over, and it's time for us to reflect and move on. I don't think we really take the time to stop and appreciate how good we have it often enough. We are really fortunate people. As it turns out, a couple weeks ago, the administration learned that letting us out this early for, as a reward for such diligent work these past four years is in fact illegal. Probably more illegal than the Instagram thing. And they must have decided it was too late and let us do it anyways because they didn't want an all-out ride in the cafeteria. Either that or they were just really eager to get us out of here. And no hard feelings if that's the case. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> so next year, the class of 2014 will not be as lucky as all of us sitting in this gymnasium are, and that's something we need to appreciate. On behalf of my entire class, I would sincerely like to send our condolences to the upcoming seniors. <laughs> Keep your heads up. But times haven't always been so easy for us either. I'll never forget the day, I, I believe it was sophomore year, that I inched my way up the lunch line and dropped my tray in sheer horror to discover that our pizza provider had been switched from Papa John's to Little Caesars. <laughs> that was such a dark day. Uh, also, I'd like to go on record saying I have no allegiance to either of those places and am currently campaigning for my employer, Pizza Joe's, to provide the Tuesday lunches in the near future. I don't believe there has ever been a better time to part ways with Portman High School, and a lot of teachers must agree with me since we have so many that will be leaving with us this year. Either that, or we have successfully crushed all of their hope in trying to any educate any future classes from this generation. And if that's the case, I'm sorry. I'd like to take a moment to commemorate all of those faculty members who are moving on, whether it is to a new position or the start of retirement. I had the opportunity to catch up with a few of these teachers who shared with me their plans after the end of this school year. The Gorskis have decided to retire together and finally fulfill their dream of moving to Scranton, Pennsylvania and opening up a bed and breakfast. Mr. Sharilla plans on relaxing, working on his golf swing, and he hopes to expand his frozen cat collection and maybe even start a gallery someday. Mrs. Berman is moving down to Columbus where she plans on opening up a daycare babysitting service. She hopes to gain some notoriety for her business by being the first daycare provider in history to assign homework and reading assignments <laughs> to children and their parents. Mr. Rice plans on heading south for Hilton Head Island where he will relax on the beach by day and by night will feverishly work with his old colleague, Mr. Beck, on trying to discover the last number of pi. <laughs> They're so close. There also has been some changes in the administration this year. Our fantastic principal, Mr. Saxton, is leaving his position to further pursue his hobby of crafting lightning bolts on the peak of Mount Olympus. <laughs> and this is very good news for Mr. Cardillo, since the school board decided he was finally bald and intimidating enough to take over as Commander-in-Chief of Boardman High. But seriously, I wish them both the best of luck with their new positions, which I'm sure they'll be very successful in. Also, I wish all the aforementioned teachers health and happiness in retirement. The grades below us are seriously missing out on some great educators. Before I wrap up, I'd like to address the graduating class. I guess this is the part where I'm supposed to give you some advice and words of wisdom, which is very unfortunate for all of you, because I am notoriously awful at giving advice. But here it goes. 
typically someone in my position would give you all these pointers on how to be successful and how to make something of yourself in life, but I, I don't think that's appropriate. Success and happiness and all those things aren't some tangible object you just have to climb enough, climb high up enough to get. It's up to you to define what those things mean to you. I mean, who's to tell you that you aren't a success? As long as you're happy with what you do and with yourself, then nothing else matters. I, I can't stress enough how important your perception is. Kurt Vonnegut once wrote, it is just an illusion we have here on Earth that one moment follows another, like beads on a string. And then once a moment is gone, it is gone forever. For instance, I'm sure many of you perceive this day to be the end of a chapter in your life. But let me ask you, have you ever thought about what the word commencement means? It comes from the word commence, which defined by the Merriam-Webster dictionary means to have or make a beginning. So to you, this may be the sort of end of an era, but I perceive it as just the start. You see what I'm getting at? I think this culture of GPAs and standardized tests and accept acceptance letters has misled us. So much pressure is put on us to decide what we're doing that we feel like we have to have it all figured out by now, but that's ludicrous. I mean, estimates say that 80% of all college students will change their major at least once throughout their college career. So, so don't stress it. You still have time to discover what you're going to do and who you're going to be. This is your time. After today, you are an adult with a high school diploma. There is no guidance counselor, teacher, or even parent, although they probably don't like hearing that, that has any say in your future. It's time for you to take responsibility in your own life and work towards what you're gonna become. It will be hard. It's going to be confusing, frustrating, and tiresome. But just remember, this is your life. It's not about what happens. It's about how you perceive it. So after today, you start your new life. You find who you are, define your own success, and I promise happiness will follow. Eventually, you're going to find something you're truly passionate about. And once you do, that's all you focus on. You hold on to that passion and you don't let go, even if it feels like you're being pushed away or it just wasn't meant to be. And remember, it's not about the money. It's not about some prestigious reputation. Who really cares what people think of you? As long as you have a positive perception of yourself. I wish you infinite success in all your endeavors, and I can't wait to see the great things this class will produce and accomplish. It's been an honor growing and learning with you these past four years. It's been the greatest time of my life. Thank you. Once again, I'd like to welcome everyone to the commencement for the class of 2013. To the class, I'd like to say thank you for your leadership, your hard work, and your school spirit. There are many styles of leadership. This class has demonstrated a quiet but effective style of leading Borman High School. Simply put, they got the job done. There was no loud proclaiming of what needed to happen. Rather, they led by example. Through their hard work, they led this school to a very successful, memorable, and exciting 2012-2013 school year, and I thank you. If you look around in our bleachers, you may notice that the people seated there are probably, for the most part, older than age 17, 18, or 19. And as we sit up there, or stand up here and look down upon our potential graduates here, we reflect back to our own commencement. Some of us in our 40s wish they could finally create that time machine and go back and talk to themselves and give them some advice back when they were 18. I actually found a nice article that was entitled, Top 10 Things You Would Tell Your 18-Year-Old Self If You Could. I've adapted this, personalized it, 
Here's my top 10 that I wish I can go back and tell myself as I sat there back in the summer of 84. I hope you can walk away, maybe with one nugget, two nuggets of wisdom, maybe all 10. Number one, integrity is a lifelong friend. Just like the baseball season, where a win in April is worth the same as a win in September, solid decisions made at age 18 will stay with you for a lifetime. Number two, interest compounds daily, and it works both ways. Start saving today. Even if it's just $5 a week to start the momentum. Financial security has to be a lifelong decision. Start smart now. Likewise, if you spend $10,000 that you don't have at age 18, you can easily pay back three to four times that amount before you're done. Stupidity compounds over time. If you remember back in your eighth grade orientation, one of my favorite things to talk about is hitting the reset button. There are fewer opportunities for do-overs in hitting the reset button after graduation. Getting arrested, ignoring responsibilities, losing a scholarship, inappropriate uses of technology. These are events that don't always get wiped out and they can haunt you for a lifetime. Number four, along those lines, what happens in Vegas rarely stays there. With social media, embarrassing events and poor decisions can be known to the world in just minutes. There is no free pass once you're a legal adult. Sound judgment counts, and it's true at age 18 as it is at age 47. From the end of Gone with the Wind, Scarlett O'Hara was right. Tomorrow really is another day. Or put another way, you have your whole life ahead of you. Don't be so impatient. You will have successes and failures daily. Remember, tomorrow will always bring fresh promise and the opportunity to start over. Number six, the one I like. Your parents do know what they're talking about. <laughs> Listen carefully. It's tough to value other people's experience when you have none or very little yourself. But it's well worth the effort to listen, to learn, and to team up with mom and dad when it comes to preparing for life on down the road. Number seven, you can't always go home again, but it's okay, you won't want to. Life is designed to move forward. Don't listen to the high school is the best time of your life crowd. That is a lie. There's a whole amazing world out there to be explored. Carpe diem, seize the day. Number eight, choose this day who you will serve. Decide right now, not tomorrow, not when you get out of college, if you want to live the next 50 years subjected to the ever-changing values imposed by popular culture based on expediency and self-centeredness, or if you tend to answer some other calling. How about instead, build your foundation upon the core principles of honesty, integrity, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Number nine, truth is stranger than, stranger than fiction and more wonderful. 18 is the gateway into wonder. Keep an open mind and don't be afraid to learn. The only limitation on an amazing life is not using the gift of creativity and imagination. And number 10, each new year is a gift to be enjoyed. It's easy to turn 18 and be nervous that you'll miss something you haven't experienced. You could be anxious that you're not growing up fast enough and you're gonna miss something that's coming up. Either way, slow down. Smell the roses. Enjoy the gift of today. Tomorrow will come in its own time. The promises of tomorrow can be overrated. The achievements of yesterday will become over-exaggerated. Enjoy today. It is a gift. That is why we call it the present. The class of 2013, I ask you to stand. And will our marshals please come forward? Family and friends, fellow Boardman educators, Superintendent Lazari, Board President Landers, and, board, and school board member Am Stutz. The students before me have successfully navigated the path that leads to a Boardman diploma. Every student seated before us has completed all the requirements of the Ohio State Department of Education and the Boardman local schools. They are now ready to receive their diplomas. I present the 95th graduating class of Borman High School.
Would our seniors be seated except for the front row? Members of the audience, you have been invited here by the Borman Local Schools as our guests to witness these seniors receiving their diplomas. As our guests, just like when you visit someone's home for the first time, it's nice to know the rules of the house. I'd like to make you aware of our expectations. This is a formal ceremony, and with it comes a formal decorum. We'll be reading the names of close to 370 seniors today, and every name is important. It is imperative that individual celebration for a graduate does not occur so that the next name is not missed. We know you're excited to see your individual family member finally receive their diploma. Maybe it's your first child to do so, or maybe you thought they would never make it. We understand, <laughs> but I ask that you respect the formal nature of this ceremony. You respect these seniors, and you respect your fellow commencement guests by holding all applause and individual celebration until the last senior walks before me. We are here to celebrate the class of 2013 as a group. When the last senior name is read, we will all celebrate all seniors as one class. The first 10 class members to receive their diploma achieved a 4.0 grade point average through seven semesters and are graduating first in class. And they are. Megan Evans. Georgia Casimias. Angela Perillo. Nicole Pavlansky. Paige Rowland. Ryan Bailey. Brendan Hardy. Frederick Wee May. Peter Stafford. Dominic Zocklo. Nicole Deli. Maya Condori. Madison Dempsey. Bailey Perpera. Shama Akbar. Amani Ali. Cassandra Allen. Alexis Anderson. Brittany Bailing. Stacy Barella. Fletcher Dunham, Daniel Belinke, Rocco Folletti, Joshua Abraham, Anthony Ambrosini, Luke Anderson, Nathan Anthony. Adam Aris, Richard Avers, Megan Beebe, Jenna Bate, Laneda Bonilla, Amanda Brindle. Aaron Broyles, Ashley Brunko, Jennifer Burnett, Gianna Carbone, John Babos, I know, Justin Babos. Nigel Baldwin, Nicholas Barone, Aaron Batie, Austin Bear, 
Brian Beck. Ryan Betts. Stephen B. Alec. Bethany Cottle. Gianna Senefani. Shannon Chafee. Caitlin Cena. Courtney Cena. Christina Claybrook. Octavia Coleman. Alyssa Conti. Cameron Cook Murphy. Ashley Cooper. William Birchfield. Cody Blangero. Brandon Borio. Martin Bolger. Raul Bosca. Dylan Basella. James Boyd. Sebastian Bragg. John Brandt. Scott Brindere. Daisy Corso. Courtney Crie. Casey Cottrell. Francesca Cox. Tiana Craig. Colleen Crawford. Alyssa Kuprick. Paisley Curtis. Marina D'Amato. Francesca Diapolito. Matthew Broderick. Brian Brown. Griffin Cadman. Anthony Collotti. Brandon Capelli. Michael Carabello. Matthew Carubia. Robert Childs. Matthew Clark. William Clark. Lauren Davila. Laura Davis. Gabriella Diasenis. Corinne De Caesar. Jamie DeNoble. Taylor Donatelli Shaw. Haley Doyle. Lindsay Dugan. Amy Dutko. Victoria Edwards. Andrew Comstock. Joseph Cordova. Aaron Cunningham. Mark DeRamo. Dylan Danzo. Ty Davenport. Aaron Davis. Stefan Delegata. John Diamond. Chelsea Ellington. Caitlin Emery. Erica Evans. 
Elizabeth Fabrizio. Shannon Farinelli. Monique Fernback. Deara Fletcher. Lauren Foley. Ashley Freeman. Cameron Gaudio. Nicholas Diani. Bradley Dofka. Connor Donahue. Austin Downey. James Dubill. John Dubill. Michael Duda. William Dugan. Desmond Duquay. Sequil Easterly. Emily Gibbs. Shatina Gilmore. Kayla Giuliani. Angelina Gresco. Amanda Gross. Christina Gavon. Sajud Hamden. Shaylin Hawthorne. Bridget Hill. Ryan Eby. William Eddy. Michael Ellis. Joshua Urquhart. Benjamin Esterly. Frederick Fedor. Joshua Ferguson. Travis Felicki. David Fleischer. Jennifer Herschel. Cassandra Hollibaugh. Ann Howe. Shelby Hall. Shannon Jakey. Riley Jarrett. Brittany Jenkins. Cassandra Johnson. Jacqueline Jones. Bryce Gaetano. Seth Gaines. Tyshawn Gidney. Scott Glenn. Daniel Gotham. Tyler Green. Luke Hagerman. Daniel Hale. Megan Jones. Rochelle Jones. Brianna Kiever. Audrey Kellerman. Catherine Kessler. Shibana Khan. Capri Klasik. Nicole Kosis. Kylie Kreps. Joseph Hahn. Richard Henneman. Ryan Higgins, Michael Holmesy, Brian Huddleston, 
Brock Hall, Justin Humphreys, Tamer Elian, Matthew Ingram, Megan Crusel, Marissa Kabala, Kylie Lancashire, Grace Lape, Elizabeth Lard, Lisa LaRocca, Trin Lee, Emily Lewis, Raven Logan, Molly Lyons, Colton Jenkins, Corey Johnson, Darius Jones, Jeremy Jones, Liam Jones, Nathan Jones, Reginald Jones, Ryan Jones, John Kennedy, Ryan Key, Julia Mady, Anika Majid, Caitlin Mallon, Samantha Manning, Colleen Manning, Sabrina Marshall, Serena Marman, Kristen Mayhew, Caitlin McKinney, Benjamin Kirk, Nicholas Klein, David Kochancic, Kyle Condis, Zachary Kuhn, Joseph Lamping, Dylan Langer, Joseph Lendek, Garrett Lewis, Cody Linhart, Marissa Melito, Sydney Metzel, Miranda Miller, Alexandria Moffo, Lauren Moliterno, Jessica Nail, Jordan Nenadich, Christy Nguyen, Lindsay Olenek, Nicholas Lockshaw, Kevin London, Matthew Masick, Nicholas Mancini, Luke Markovich, Michael Marshall, Ian Mady, Keith McBride, Brandon McLean, Matthew McClellan, Chelsea Osborne, Sierra Oslin, Anna Palmer, Sarah Patrick, Paige Perez, Alyssa Flew, Nicole Palali, 
Alexa Pittner. Nicole Ravati. Rhiannon Reyes. Cody McCormick. Leslie McIntosh. Aaron Mead Patton. Corey Meenahan. Cameron Myers. Mark Miller. Mohammed Mishmish. Cameron Misos. Nathan Moffo. Teresha Rhodes. Unique Roberts. Daisy Robinson. Daphne Robinson. Gina Rosati. Elizabeth Roth. Lisa Shorsten. Shauna Siemens. Jessica Schobel. David Moore. Josiah Morales. Curtis Moses. Peter Knoll. Carl Olson. Jared Patrick. Raymond Peters. Matthew Paco. Ian Phillips. Christopher Popovich. Han Bit Sean. Sarah Shiroki. Giovanna Silvestri. Christina Slavens. Cheryl Snyder. Victoria Sotis. Stephanie Stanovich. Morgan Stickle. Jacob Preggy. Ivan Ramos. Justin Randall. Michael Rashuti. Alexander Rich. Sean Rich. Vincent Rich. Nathaniel Ritz. Stephen Rivers. Sarah Strowinski. Helena Tedesco. Katrina Tharp. Caitlin Thompson. Stephanie Two. Aaron Trell. Antonia Triglia. Casey Vandenbosch. Sierra Vargas. Christopher Rivniak. Evan Romero. Stephen Russell. Peter Ryan. Jesse Salugo. Ryan Savage. Jarrett Sales. Chris Clefani. Matthew Scott. 
Christopher Shannon, Alyssa Vavacqua, Victoria Wallace, Ashlyn Wardle, Katrina Watkins, Michael White, Macy Wilson, Keely Wyant, Emily Young, Michael Sheridan, Samuel Sharanovich, Jason Schilling, Michael Schobel, Aaron Snyder, Michael Slomnowski, Brandon Sun, Aaron Stanford, Paul Stevens, Jamar Steverson, Carolyn Zaitsu, Madison Zikafus, Dalton Taylor, Jermaine Tillis, Zachary Tomasco, John Umble, Vincent Village, John Vitulo, Blake Vore. Cody Watkins, Robert Welsh, Darian Wilson, Michael Wilson, Corey Weinbold, Shane Winston, Michael Whitty. Ryan Yast, Andrew Zach, Mikkel Zeidenstein, Matthew Zeisler, and Dennis Zindi. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2013. For closing remarks and the turning of the tassel, I'd like to introduce our class president, Fletcher Dunham. When I think of Fletcher, I think creative, positive, enthusiastic, a very active member of our senior class and a leader. In the fall, he'll be studying broadcast journalism at Ohio University. Fletcher Dunham. Whew, I thought it was hot down there. Well guys, we're finally here. After four long, long, very long, painful, stressful, torturous years of following the dress code, eating the same chicken patties every single day, sitting through bullying seminars, and trying to figure out what the band kids' hoodies mean, I still don't know. We're finally here. The big leagues, the real world, and we're graduates. And I'm graduating, so Grandpa, you owe me 20 bucks. <laughs> Would you like to know what I'm most excited for in college? The academics will be great, social life will be a blast, and sports will be top-notch. But I'm really most excited for getting to do my own grocery shopping. 
I'm not sure if scientifically the human body can live off of Lucky Charms and Arnold Palmer, but I plan on finding out within the next four years. Um, I'm going to be at Kent State in the fall, like uh, Principal Saxon said, and I'm um, really excited. I'm sure every single class president says this at, at commencement. In fact, I could almost guarantee it. But for real, you guys are awesome. I could not imagine a more ideal group of people to traverse these hormone-filled years with. I can honestly say that I like each and every one of you, except for maybe Brendan. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, my only regret is that I wasn't actually able to become friends with all of you. But, you know, free, feel free to hit me up at college or at the reunion. Ladies, my number is in the diploma, if you look uh, under the little card there. <laughs> but uh, seriously, I've had so much fun getting to know you guys, and I hope I've made as much of an impact on your lives as uh, most of you have made on mine. It sounds super cheesy to say that, but I just sometimes I think, what if I went to Poland? I'd be a completely different person. <laughs> Maybe not for the best. When you think about it, we really do have a great class. I mean, we have state champion swimmers, uh, wrestlers that went to state, future doctors, lawyers, models, uh, and I'm sure every class has people like that. But I can promise you that no other class has anyone like Peter Ryan, that's for sure. For those of you who don't know, uh, for an example of why I mentioned him, uh, for Spirit Week, we had Sweater Day, and uh, Peter wore a sweater for pants. So that's just one of the things, I don't know. <laughs> Something I've noticed about our class as a whole is that we actually all get along pretty well. I honestly can't remember the last time any of us have ever like had a fist fight since all the years I've, we've been here, and that's pretty good. Whether you realize it or not, you're all fantastic people, and you all have so much potential. And when I say potential, I don't necessarily mean the potential to become a millionaire or anything like that. That's not what potential means, at least not to me. I mean the potential to be the very best and succeed at whatever you're attempting in life. Not everyone can be doctors, lawyers, and CEOs. That's what we have the Ryan Baileys for. To me, being an auto mechanic, plumber, secretary, teacher, any job you could think of has potential and is worth working for. Any job can be living up to your potential if it's, if it's what you love doing and if it pays the bills and if it's legal. My main point here is, do what you love and what makes you happy, not what others want you to do or what you think is financially best. That being said, make sure the bills are getting paid. But I've learned that putting passion over greed will often result in much more enjoyable circumstances. I was in Michigan last weekend at my cousin's commencement ceremony and I was in my aunt's uh, dining room and I read this on this little block thing, uh, there was a quote, it said, never get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life. And that kind of stood out to me as I was thinking about writing my speech. I think that's something we should all think about as we graduate out of here and as we move on to a place where we'll have a chance to make our own choices, to forge our own destinies, and to start our own lives. My favorite author, J.R.R. Tolkien, uh, author of The Lord of the Rings, for you guys who don't know, once said, if more of us valued food and cheer and song above hoarded gold, it would be a merrier world. I know everyone loves to have fun, so let's not forget to value food and cheer and song when we walk out these doors. I personally have had a fantastic four years at this school. I've made some unforgettable memories and had some pretty unique experiences during my days here. From racing down the gym hallway in wheelchairs, which most of you probably don't know about, to pushing Sam Sharonovich on a wheelie chair through a study hall wearing spandex and a cape, to dressing up in ponchos and sombreros and singing Spanish songs, I've done my fair share of goofing around and making a fool of myself. But I've had an amazing time and I've made some awesome friends. I even liked a few of my teachers. One that stands out in particular, however, as someone who has impacted my life, at least this year, and how I look at the future, um, going into broadcasting and going into film is what I'd like to do. Uh, the new broadcast and TV communications teacher this year is Mr. Hollibaugh. And most of you probably don't even know who he is uh, because he's new. In a classroom setting, Mr. Hollibaugh is a pretty good teacher. He has very hands-on and passionate about what he does. But when I was really impacted by this man was when we would have one-on-one -on -one conversations during tapings of concerts and such like that. Being someone aspiring to go into the film industry, I understand how difficult it is going to be and how many butts I'm going to have to kiss to get anywhere. But in my discussions with Mr. Hollibaugh, along with scoring some fantastic tips and tricks on how to make it in the movie biz, I realized that no matter how tough it's going to be for me, I'm doing what I love, and if I always go above and beyond what is asked of me, I'll be successful. I know you've all heard that a million times, but sometimes cliches are cliches for a reason, because they're true. 
Another great quote from J.R.R. Tolkien, as you can see, I'm a huge Lord of the Rings nerd, is, it's the job that's never started that takes the longest to finish. You're never going to accomplish your goals without starting somewhere. So whether you get lucky and have that big break, or start off like I will, bringing coffee to the assistance of the assistance of the assistance of the producers, always put in the effort. Everything worth accomplishing is worth any effort. Before I conclude this speech, there's one final story that I'd kind of like to explain, and I promised this young man that I would say this when we graduated. This story has to do with a ritual between myself and a young man named Anthony Colotti. Would you mind standing up, Anthony? <laughs> I don't want to embarrass him. That's Anthony. One day in middle school, I don't remember exactly when, but probably eight years ago, Anthony decided it would be funny and clever to ask me whether my ham was done. My, name is, my last name is Dunham, so he asked me whether my ham was done. This may sound like a very odd thing to ask someone, but when you can take into consideration my last name, it makes sense in a punny kind of way. So after Anthony asked me this, I responded, nope, it's still in there roasting, and I'm still not sure what that means, but it was kind of a joke between us over the years. Thus a tradition began which carried over into high school. At some point freshman year, I started telling Anthony that my ham would be done when we graduated and walked across that stage. And for years, we have basically counted down the days until graduation, one inquiry about the state of my ham at a time. So without further ado, although I'm still not exactly sure what this means, Anthony, my ham's finally done. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the real world class of Bourbon High. At this point, I'd like to ask everyone to move their tassels over to the left, signifying we have graduated. All right, guys, we're finally out of here. Not to build off of that, but we're glad that the ham at the microphone is done. because it's warm enough to bake one in here. <laughs> All right, as we close up, uh, a very special tradition. Uh, if there's anyone in, in attendance in our audience that is a Borman graduate, would you please stand up? Now, class of 2013, please stand up. Welcome to the Borman family. I ask for selected members of our vocal music department to come forward to lead us in the closing by the singing of the alma mater. And as they come forward, I'd like to say a special uh, thank yous. First of all, Ron Affogato, Gary Scattergood, and the BHS custodial staff for their hard work in staying up. Nick Capritza, Joe Holabaugh, and the BST and crews filming. The ladies in the main office, Cindy Chartier, Diane Franskowski, Daniela Dabner, Jody Marlin, and rookie Michelle Peters for organizing, verifying, and counting to make sure every diploma and every student is in the right place. I also want to thank Michelle Prokop, Bill Amendol, the BHS Orchestra, and Linda Schmerck for providing today's music, and Blasco Landscaping for the beautiful greenery here. Finally, we'd like to thank all the parents who every day put their faith and support in the Borman schools and trust us with their most precious co commodity, their children. Members of the audience, please wait until the graduates are out of the gym before Exodus dance. Would you please stand as we sing our alma mater?